This is the Helson Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Columbus, Ohio. My name's Jake. I'm a student here. See that list of names on the wall? Those are the names of our instructors here at the Academy. Pretty sweet. Okay, it all started with this guy, Elio Gracie. Elio didn't invent jiu-jitsu, but he sure did perfect jiu-jitsu and handed his philosophy down to his son, Helson. There's Helson. Anyway, if you don't know who Helson Gracie is, get out a dictionary, any dictionary, and look up the word badass. You'll see his picture. Today, I'm going to take you to school with me. We're going to the academy where I train and meet some of the people there and get their thoughts on jiu-jitsu, including the thoughts of the great Grandmaster Helson Gracie. And this guy, Robin Giesler, my coach, my teacher, my instructor, my friend. Here he is in this clip, destroying Blue Belt Neil. You can turn this around, Neil. You got this. You got this, Neil. Neil. I've become a much more humble person, a much more tolerant person, um, a much more healthy person. And so I, I took a, a deep, hard look at what I was eating, how I was, how I was behaving, um, and uh, cut out a lot of bad habits in my life that, uh, that really were, were destructive. Jiu-Jitsu has helped me develop the discipline to be able to do that in my life. And so in that way, I've, I've become a better person. I think there's a, there's a lot of benefits that, that people don't really see at the beginning, but they unfold themselves the more and more you train, the more you dive into the art, and uh, especially surrounding yourself with just amazing people. All your movements, like white belts, are out here all the place, right? Blue belts, a little bit, a little bit closer. Purple belts, just from getting caught so many times, you start to tuck things in a little bit better, a little bit better. You know, by the time you get black belt, you're like some sort, of, some sort of dinosaur, right? You know, so you want to be able to make those movements and give very little space. You know, I don't want my elbows to flare up much like this, hardly at all, unless I know I'm in a position where I'm safe. If I'm here and I go like that, that's all he needs. It's just a little hole, boom. Okay, so I want to be nice and tight. I wouldn't have to dig for that. And if he has to dig for it. If I'm here and he has to dig for it, now I have time to change, move. So I can recognize, uh oh, he's getting his hand in there, boom, I can move. As opposed to, boom, it's in, it's done, he's got it. And now I'm fighting an arm lock. And you don't have much time for that one. <laughs> you better have a plan quickly. Does that make sense? So keep everything super, super tight here. Yeah. You want to least amount of space so possible. I'll, I'll want to try it back. Let's do it a couple more times, guys, we'll try it. Disrespectful. I was told that it was it was ripped down, kicked, and spit upon. I was coaching some kids, and uh, one of the young high school kids who had had a few lessons in here uh, almost choked me unconscious. And I asked him where he learned that. He told me about this place, so I, uh, I came out here and uh, talked to Dr. Hudson, who was uh, the owner and uh, main uh, proprietor of the school at the time, and started training and never stopped. It's more about the journey than it is about adults or anything else. It's about your learning experience, the, the enjoyment of learning, getting healthier, um, learning a skill that could save your life one day, or somebody that you care about. But it's also the camaraderie and the, the enjoyment of the group that you're with. So I would say, you know, um, don't rush. Um, don't beat yourself up if it takes you a long time at any belt level because, you know, the longer you're at a belt level, the more time you have to uh, experience that level and really perfect it before you move on. Um, hang in there, really. I mean, just show up, be on the mats. You can't really learn jujitsu without time on the mats. So get in, train. This place you have an opportunity to train almost as much as you want. So um, take advantage of it. I think um, when I see people come into jujitsu and not make it, it's because their ego gets in the way. 
They they don't want to tap. They don't want to. Uh, they want to to win that day so they feel good that day, and um, that's really the the wrong spirit to have in jujitsu. You really want to um, come in to learn and be better at what you do. Um, I had one guy who's uh, here in Ohio, uh, Chris Blanke, um, who trained with us for a long time, and he used to come down and. When I first met him on there, this guy gets caught all the time. <laughs> but he would thank me after every time we catch him. And uh, he's one of the, I think, one of the best guys around now because um, he had the right attitude. He just wanted to, he wanted to learn. He knew how to learn. And I think, um, you know, that's a, that's a lesson well learned is uh, be humble and be willing to uh, submit if you're in a bad position. Don't sacrifice your elbow or your knee or your ankle or your neck because you didn't want to lose that day. You know, find out where you made your mistake and come back to that the next day and correct it. Number one is clean environment. It's a very friendly environment. You have a lot of, of, of very good people uh, that you surround yourself with to learn the art with um, at all different levels. Everybody's equal in, 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 in the academy. Um, and it, we have classes that are specifically designed for the beginner to learn the fastest way possible to become street ready, which means you know, in our system, white to blue belt, we're looking for everybody to get from white to blue belt, and that's what we want is street ready. What Helson says is white to blue belt is street ready, right? And that's, that's his goal for, for the blue belt. And that's, so that's the, we're an extension of him, that's, that's our goal. And uh, you can't get any closer to the source. Grandmaster Ailey Gracie, second oldest son Helson, us. And, uh, you know, I mean, the guy, he'll be here next Thursday. It's kind of hard to, you know. Who is Helson Gracie? Helson Gracie is the second oldest son of Grandmaster Ailey Gracie and 22-year uh, undefeated champion. Um, in, in his sport of jiu-jitsu, um, multiple times defending the family name in street fights in Brazil and uh, Valley Tudo matches, things like that. Um, but um, more than that, he's a grand master in jiu-jitsu, the highest ranking you can, you can receive. Just received it uh, last year from his brother, Horan Gracie. And um, yeah, amazing man. Jiu-jitsu changed you. You want personal? When you out Jiu Jitsu, you have a normal life. When you learn Jiu Jitsu, you have confidence. Eventually, you start having discipline in the mats. Discipline in the mats, go in the streets. You start being disciplined, you start respect for people in the streets. You know the danger. You wrestle in the streets, you hurt somebody else. Então, you already prevent no bad things. You'll be peaceful inside. You, you, with Jiu Jitsu inside, you'll be peaceful inside. You're peaceful inside. You pass this around. You pass this. You go, ah, I was happy. The last thing you'd be, uh, you're going to be fight. That's the last thing you think. You're going to be in the fight. All right, hey, what's happening? Hey, I'm sorry, man. Apologize, brother. Whatever. Sorry, sir. What's the problem? I can't fix it. No, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. So I'm very, very uh, uh, confident in nothing making me scared, nothing making me step back. My decisions, I think, is right. And then I'm ready to prove it. So confidence, discipline, uh, uh, schedule, help each other, communication, uh, ability to create, uh, 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 diets involved because you prepare yourself to better compare, or better physically resist long train. You start long trains, you like like long trains. Sometimes you win the train with endurance you have in the diet. The other one got tired of submit or, or, or get an advantage. More like I say, as a jiu-jitsu have a lot of ways to win and lose. There's a lot of balance in life. There's a lot of good behaviors come inside this place like that. For kids, for adults, for women, to be confident. That's a life here. Kid, like I say, it's the best life. Yeah, I don't see this part, this thing I'm doing, teach kids, like a work. That's like shake hands in the streets. I like pass things each other. You see somebody you smile, hi, my brother, that's happy. And then, hey, guy, look here, look, this position escape. As for me, it's the same. Shake your hands, hug people, talk stories, show your position. Oh, the girls on time in the street, honey, let me show you something. I show you, take you, oh, nice. She loves me. Because I show you something can help me be safe in the streets. Don't have a price to take care of somebody. 
personal behavior to be safe in the streets. Hell, so last night you showed me a headlock. Man, next day it happened to me. And then it worked perfect. So that's energy be passed. These things jiu-jitsu can give, money cannot buy. My schools train with wool. Everybody welcome train in my school, spar one day, yes, come train my boys. Yeah, I see a lot of blue bells, tap of black bells, I can't name. I see a lot of my blue bells, purple bells, brown bells, tap of black bells. Second place in the world. Black bells got tapped for my blue bell. That's an incredible situation. But how much this jiu-jitsu, technically, you can destroy the physically. You make one jiu-jitsu come in, like you get a stone grows, you yeah. make a pure diamond. That's jiu-jitsu way coming from Japan to Brazil, very hard jiu-jitsu. My daddy cannot apply this jiu-jitsu in training because I need the hooks, lift up, power he don't have. And then it lapidate the, the jiu-jitsu from be the position you are. And then as I have a good example, El Grace, the way you are, myself, all my brothers, put a good represent to L2 with Elio Grace self-defense program. And that's us keep you on in this self-defense uh, program in my schools. That's maybe a priority in the, in the class, as the self-defense system, because that's the ones keep going to the, the, the streets. And then you tell me, who's Elio Grace to tell you that? It's Elio Grace is the master. Elio Grace is the creator. Elio Grace is the man who developed the source, the information, to make the small beat the big one. Uh, martial arts with no, any kind, martial arts with no discipline, don't work. In these days, I got a knife, I visit schools, I kill everybody. Nobody no defense knife. You go to Helson Grace Academy, any of these guys take your knife away. And that's the a difference about how to be with Helio Grace and how to be with everybody else. I prefer with, with this name. I have the state of Ohio, I have nine schools. Cleveland, Mansfield, uh, Columbus, Ohio, West, South, uh, whole this area, Kentuck, Cincinnati. Good schools to be. Uh, I represent uh, the team, all these guys represent me, qualify to teach you self-defense. And the school you're going on, Helio Grace self-defense. Only my association, you can see this jiu-jitsu run every day. The self-defense program for streets, rape, or any violence, any aggressive, any surprise holds, any weapons, you guys are gonna be qualified to defend yourself. Come and train with us. I'm in Colombo here, recommend you guys train any association of mine in Columbus. Jeff Hutzel have the outstand with Rob Gisley run the class. Uh, all these black bells here help in the process. Outstanding school, thank you guys for training with us. Like I said, everybody welcome, come and have fun. Every day is a holiday. Come play with us. God bless you, man. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Say hello, say hello, say hello, say hello. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to check out my school, and I hope you enjoyed getting a rare look into the mind of a great, great grandmaster, Helson Gracie. When you become part of the brotherhood of the Gracie Jiu Jitsu family, guys like Helson Gracie are not just your teachers and your mentors, but they're your friends. Jiu Jitsu is not about fighting. In the end, it's about life, confidence, living healthy living well, solving problems, sharing ideas, staying safe, being the best person you could possibly be, making good decisions. It's about friendship, discipline, and so much more. It's not a martial art, it's a lifestyle. It's the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. So the next time you're in Columbus, Ohio, take a trip on down to Cleveland Avenue and Schrock Road. Check out a little school called the Helson Gracie Academy of Jiu-Jitsu. I promise you'll make some new friends, I promise you'll have a good time, and I promise you'll learn something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the mats. Coach, what do you think of these two guys? I think they're black belts. They're black belts? I think I could take them. I'm sure you did. They don't look so tough to me, Coach.
I think you just got two more matches, Jake. <laughs> oh, no.